Hello, I'm Kainz on the Tech Pro, and today's class will be writing SQL queries in MSSAs and SQL Server 2008. The difficulty is easy and duration is 13 minutes, so I hope you follow along and we are going to do it together. It's, uh, it's practical or true, so we are going to use three pieces of software, but before we do that, take note of what we are going to learn. Uh, there's 11 items, uh, is what we are going to learn today, so take some time to get your, yourself uh, used to these items. So, we are going to use three pieces of software, uh, like Microsoft Excel. Uh, to reduce the time we are going to spend, I've outlined, I've uh, created this table that we are going to use, table of uh, relatives. I call it uh, TBL members. Okay. Uh, the naming will be uh, will discuss later, and then we are going to use Microsoft SQL uh, Server Management Studio. That is Microsoft SQL Server, and then we are going to use uh, Microsoft Access. So I open them so that we will not spend more time. So let's go to the first one: importing data between MS Excel and SQL Server. MS Excel Access and SQL Server. So let's just do it. Let's first import Excel data to Microsoft Access. So what you do is just you go to create, sorry, go to database tools. So external data, go to Excel and go to browse to select the Excel file you want to use. So our Excel file is on the desktop and I call the data and that is it. So select it and click on open and just say OK and then follow the wizard next leave everything the way it is and then uh, it asks you for the primary key I want to use the serial number as a primary key so I'm choosing my own primary key remember choose my own primary key and then go next and then import it to table I want it to be TBL members that's the name of the table I want to use and then click on finish the wizard blah 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 just no I don't want any analysis and then we have TBL members if we open it we find out that it's imported perfectly and that is how you import Excel to Microsoft Assays. Let's go ahead to import the same Excel to Microsoft uh, SQL Server. Uh, in SQL Server you create a new database. I've already done it a new database uh, but I've created KTT Pro so right click on it and go to tasks and go to import data. Okay, if I'm too fast, please uh, rewind or you can pause the video and then follow along. On that data source, go ahead to select Excel, Microsoft Excel, and then remember to change the Excel version to 2007. And that will be just fine. Now, Excel file path, browse to select the file. I have it as data and then click on open. Alright, here you just uh, follow along the way it is. But here you have to click on the sheet. You know there are three sheets in your Excel, Excel uh, workbook. So click on the first one. I want to edit something. What I want to edit is the date of entry. As you can see, date of entry is date time. I want it to be just date. So change to date. And just go ahead to say OK. And then go ahead to click on next. And then finish it up. And then finish. Alright, so we are done. If we go to table, we see as sheet one. I would like to right click and then rename it to TBL members. Okay, that is just fine. So we've been able to import to Microsoft Assets and to SQL Server. If I click on select top 1000, you have the same records I have in my Microsoft Excel sheet. So let's go ahead to check off that we've completed work first item. Let me mark it green, write and select query. So I'm going to write a, a query to select the first name and the last name from the table. So I'm going to write it in SQL server and then I'm going to write in assay. So right click on the database, not on the table, not on the table, right click on the database and say new query. So select query goes like this, select first name last name separate the two columns or two field by column from TBL members okay as a cute and that is how select query works you can actually select uh, more and more columns so let me write a different query this one I'm going to say 
either use uppercase or lowercase letter. Select start from TBL members. If I run the second one, just highlight it and execute it selects everything. So start means everything. So let's try to run this query in Microsoft Access. Copy, get to Microsoft Access, go to create, go to query, design and close this. Go to SQL and then go ahead to paste. Paste everything and then click on run. So we have it perfectly. It's running. So go back to query. Uh, go back to oh, query design. Sorry, uh, let's close this. Okay. So go back to SQL. This is where we came from, and just replace the first name and last name with star. If you do that, the query is going to run, and then uh, click on run. It selects everything, and that is so fine. So we've completed writing select query. Uh, that is how easy it is. So let me mark it off. The next one is delete query. So I'm going to delete a record. Delete query, I'm, I'll use it in conjunction with the where clause. So if I write delete from TBL members, this will delete everything. So I'll say where let's delete the, 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 the first record record number one that has a serial number of k001 where uh, first name equals enclosing single quotes and specify the first name and it's going to delete the entire record so one row affected if we go ahead to select again the first record is no longer there we have k002 all right so going to copy and also running Microsoft Access just go ahead to create and then go to or just go ahead to click on SQL on the lower part and then replace the query with the second one and then run it wants me that one record will be deleted yes I want to delete so if I select deleted as you can see uh, it marks it as deleted so we've completed writing delete queries next one is the update query I'm going to write an update query uh, let's look at the record again I'm going to write an update query to change my first name to KTT Pro for K012 that is my serial number my first name is Kainson but I'm going to write a query to change it to KTT Pro so just uh, let's go back to the query we are working on and so update query goes like this updates the table name Sites first name equals and close the single quotes KTT Pro where first name equals kind son. Okay, so if I execute this, I have one row affected. So if I go ahead to look at the table again. I'll see that the uh, name have been changed from my real name Kainton to KTT Pro. Alright, so that is how to write of this query. So let me close some of this. So let's take this and run it against Microsoft Assign. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you can write queries in Microsoft Assign. Microsoft SQL Server, so it's exactly the same thing. So if you don't have SQL Server, you can actually use Microsoft Access to line writing queries. So go to uh, create. Sorry, uh, go to query design. Okay, and then click. On. It tells me one record to be updated. I say yes, update. So if I right click and say open, here you can see KTT Pro is being replaced now so if I interchange I want to change it back set first name is equal to kind so ok so going to run it ok so if I go back to check you see it's been changed back alright that is about select so let's update so let's do uh, insert 
Perry. All right, and Sat Perry is also simple. It's simply okay. Less than Sat one single record. It always starts with in Sats. In two, the table name TBL members. Uh, let me insert first name and last name. Let me insert assign first name and last name. Uh, what am I inserting? Values. Values and then enclose in single quotes that say K whatever. This is it. Uh, I'm inserting. So if I run it, values uh, inside. Okay, I'm going to close this and I'm going to execute one row affected. So I've inserted one record. So if I select, let's go down. Okay, you can see the first record, Henry Elo, every other thing is no. So let's go ahead to run the same query in Microsoft Assets and see what happens. If I'm too fast, you can just uh, pause the video and see if I'm full out. I paste it and I'm going to run. Yes, I want to run. And then if I open, I have it. I uh, insert it. Let's look for it. use a percentage uh, sign on both sides of the expression so TBL members okay so as a Q and it, it gives me everybody with uh, last name like this so that is how the like clause works 
So now let's use uh, your Kratos. Select uh, staff from TBL members where last name. Okay, let's say where no of kids greater than zero. So as a cute greater than zero number of kids where number of kids equal to zero as a cute. As you can see, number of kids is equal to zero. Where number of kids is less than zero, no one, no record, zero record. So that is about the like the mathematical operators. The next one is between. You use it to filter to select uh, a range of uh, values. Let's say between A and B or something like that. Okay. So where number of kids between. between 0 and uh, 2 as a kids so number of kids between 0 and 2 between 1 and 2 between uh, values are inclusive so if I execute I have just 1 and 2 so let's see where we are in the stream of the, uh, in the in the list so we've completed the lessons perfectly so this is how easy it is if i'm too fast uh, leave a comment let me know maybe i'll make a slower one but i'm looking at my time and that is why this is way. i want to thank you very much for viewing uh remain kind on the tech pro and please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so if this video has been informative for you please give me a thumbs up like the video and you can share it with your friends once again thank you very much for viewing